The Taklamakan Desert. Its name whispers a warning, the place of no return. It is a vast, unforgiving expanse of shifting sands located in Xinjiang, China. This is famously the furthest point on Earth from any ocean, a place defined by its extreme dryness and its distance from the sea. For centuries, life here has clung to the edges, surviving on what little the arid land would offer. The idea of a fresh seafood harvest in such a place would have seemed like a fantasy, a story told by a traveler lost in the heat. Yet today, something extraordinary is happening. The impossible is becoming real. In the heart of this great desert, a revolution is underway, turning golden sand into a cradle for aquatic life. This transformation is a testament to human ingenuity and a new understanding of the resources hidden beneath the surface. Deep below the desert floor lies a vast ancient sea of salt water. This water, too salty for traditional farming was long considered unusable, but now, it is the very lifeblood of a burgeoning aquaculture industry. Scientists and engineers have developed methods to tap into this hidden resource, creating artificial seas in the middle of the land. It is a stunning sight, vibrant blue ponds teeming with fish and crustaceans, set against the pale gold of the desert dunes. The air, once filled only with the sound of the wind, now carries the gentle lapping of water. This is not just a scientific marvel, it is a profound change in the story of this land. Where there was once only sand, there are now thriving ecosystems, carefully managed and sustained by technology. The desert, a symbol of scarcity, is becoming a source of abundance. The journey of water, from deep underground reservoirs to these life-giving ponds, is a remarkable one. It represents a new chapter for the people of Xinjiang and a powerful example of how we can rethink our relationship with the world's most challenging environments. This is a story of hope, of innovation, and of life finding a way in the most unexpected of places. The world is watching as the Taklamak and the Sea of Death gives rise to a new kind of sea, one filled not with waves of sand but with the promise of a sustainable and prosperous future. The contrast is almost poetic. The driest of landscapes is now producing the freshest of seafood, a paradox that challenges our very definition of what a desert can be. This incredible project shows us that with vision and care, even the most desolate corners of our planet can be transformed into centers of life and opportunity, offering a new source of food for a growing world. It is a powerful reminder that nature, with a helping hand from science, holds endless surprises. The creation of a seafood industry in the Taklamakan is a masterpiece of modern engineering. The first step in this incredible process is to reach the saline water hidden deep underground. Wells are drilled hundreds of meters beneath the desert floor to access these vast, salty aquifers. This water, with a salinity similar to that of the ocean, is then carefully pumped to the surface. It is a precious resource and its use is managed with great precision. Once above ground, the water is channeled into a network of specially constructed ponds. These are not simple holes in the ground. They are sophisticated aquatic environments, designed to mimic the conditions of a natural coastal habitat. Maintaining the health of these artificial ecosystems is the key to success. This is where advanced technology plays a vital role. Each pond is equipped with a state-of-the-art water quality management system. These systems constantly monitor crucial parameters like oxygen levels, temperature, pH balance, and salinity. Automated aerators bubble oxygen into the water, ensuring the aquatic life can breathe easily, while filtration systems work around the clock to remove waste and maintain purity. This technology allows farmers to create the perfect conditions for different species, fine-tuning the environment to ensure the health and rapid growth of the seafood. It is a delicate balance managed with scientific precision. The desert itself also provides some unexpected advantages. The region's intense and prolonged sunlight, a challenge for traditional agriculture, is a great benefit for aquaculture. The abundant sunshine warms the ponds and promotes the growth of algae, which forms the base of the aquatic food chain. Furthermore, the underground saline water is naturally rich in essential minerals that are beneficial for the growth of fish and crustaceans. This mineral content contributes to the unique flavor and high quality of the seafood produced here. It is as if the desert was guarding a secret recipe for perfect seafood, waiting for us to discover it. The scale of this operation is truly impressive. What was once barren land is now a mosaic of thousands of acres of aquaculture ponds. This network of man-made habitats has fundamentally reshaped the landscape, creating a new and productive ecosystem. 
This careful blend of natural resources and human innovation has turned a seemingly hostile environment into a highly controlled and efficient food production system. The desert's challenges, its isolation, its dryness, its salty water, have been ingeniously transformed into the very ingredients needed for this remarkable agricultural revolution to succeed. The variety of seafood now being raised in the Xinjiang Desert is astonishing. These ponds are home to species one would normally associate with coastal regions thousands of kilometers away. Farmers are successfully cultivating high-value marine fish like grouper and sea bream, which thrive in the carefully managed saltwater environments. Alongside them, you can find crustaceans such as giant freshwater prawns and even crabs, scuttling at the bottom of their desert homes. The success extends to other species as well, including tilapia and mudskippers. This diverse range of products allows the region to cater to different markets and consumer tastes across China. The economic impact on the local communities has been profound and overwhelmingly positive. This new industry has created thousands of jobs for people in the region, providing stable and well-paying employment in areas where opportunities were once scarce. Local farmers and herders have been trained in the new techniques of aquaculture, becoming skilled technicians managing these advanced systems. In 2023 alone, production reached impressive figures, with thousands of tons of seafood harvested from these desert farms. This has brought a new stream of income into the local economy, improving livelihoods and fostering development in a sustainable way. The success of Xinjiang's aquaculture is not just about quantity, it is also about quality. The seafood from the desert has gained a reputation for being exceptionally pure. Because the farms use pristine, ancient salt water from deep underground, the products are free from the pollutants often found in coastal waters. This purity, combined with the mineral-rich water, gives the seafood a distinct, clean taste that is highly prized by consumers. The story of seafood from the desert has captured the public's imagination, becoming a sensation on social media and driving high demand in markets from Beijing to Shanghai. Beyond fish and crustaceans, the innovation continues. Some farms have even begun cultivating pearls, adding another high-value product to their desert harvest. The controlled environment of the ponds proves to be ideal for this delicate process. The combination of clean water, stable temperatures, and a rich food supply allows for the production of high-quality pearls. This diversification demonstrates the incredible potential of desert aquaculture. It is not just about producing food, it is about creating a multifaceted industry that brings wealth and opportunity to a region that has long been defined by its economic challenges. One of the most remarkable aspects of Xinjiang's aquaculture is its commitment to sustainability. The system is designed to be a closed loop, minimizing waste and environmental impact. The fish waste produced in the ponds, which is rich in nutrients, is not discarded. Instead, it is collected and used as a natural fertilizer for crops grown on the surrounding desert land. This creates a circular economy where the byproducts of one industry become valuable inputs for another. This integrated approach linking aquaculture with agriculture makes the entire system more efficient and environmentally friendly, turning a potential pollutant into a resource. This innovative approach to food production offers significant advantages over traditional coastal aquaculture. Coastal fish farms can sometimes lead to the pollution of marine ecosystems and the destruction of natural habitats like mangroves. By moving aquaculture inland to the desert, these risks are avoided. The use of contained underground saline water prevents any interference with the ocean's delicate balance. This model of inland saltwater farming provides a way to increase global seafood production without putting further pressure on our already stressed coastal zones, offering a more sustainable path forward for the industry. The success in the Taklamakan is about more than just seafood. It is about rewriting the future for arid regions around the world. Deserts cover about one-third of our planet's land surface, and most are considered unproductive wastelands. Xinjiang's project demonstrates that this perception is outdated. With the right technology and a creative approach to resource management, deserts can become centers of innovation and productivity. This model could be adapted and applied in other arid regions, from the Middle East to Africa to Australia, helping to address global food security challenges in a changing climate. As we look to the future, the shimmering ponds of the Taklamakan offer a powerful symbol of hope. They show us that the limits we perceive are often just a failure of imagination. This project has transformed not only a landscape, 
but also our understanding of what is possible. It proves that human ingenuity, when applied with respect for the environment, can unlock the hidden potential of our planet's most extreme places. The desert, once a place of no return, is now pointing the way forward, offering a blueprint for a more sustainable and abundant world for generations to come.